Hello and welcome to this video on predicting your ethanol yield in home brew. By the use of a simple formula and knowledge of what is used in the wash, you can figure out what will be the yield of any given quantity of sugar. This is one of several methods available to the home brewer. This is the simplest schematic of the chemical equation that will be used. On the left is the sucrose and water. On the right are the products, ethanol and carbon dioxide. It is an oversimplification of what happens in fermentation. Using the process described in previous videos and linked below, the yeast cell breaks everything down into glucose. The glucose then turns into two pyruvates. These are then converted into one ethanol and one carbon dioxide molecule each. So based on this, we know that one unit of glucose equals two units of ethanol and two units of carbon dioxide. We know that in this case, 6 kilograms of sugar were used. Based on the idea of moles, we can calculate the maximum possible yield of ethanol. So in this case, it is 23.4 moles of sucrose, also known as a reagent here. This makes for 45 moles of glucose, when the sucrose is broken off the fructose. This is close to a 1 to 1 division. It makes roughly 90 moles of both products. To show this, the weight of the fermenter was measured over the course of a week, and you can see that now. Between day 1 and day 7, 1.1 kilograms were lost as CO2. This is well below the anticipated full fermentation of moles at 25 moles. This was backed by the amount of ethanol found in the direct measurement. The amount of ethanol extracted from the wash was 1 litre and 90%. This is roughly a quarter of the full yield amount. It is a quarter because we know it should have produced closer to the full 90 moles. Not the full amount, but closer. Limitations occur with yeast in the form of toxicity, osmotic pressure, and others. The exact amount is closer to 12% than a quarter, but using a quarter simplifies the equation. Now we can adjust for ethanol. There should be an equal amount of moles of ethanol in the wash compared to the CO2. In this case, 25 moles of ethanol at 90%, less the small amount retained despite distillation, that equals roughly 983 grams, more or less the amount that was extracted in the end. Most yeast strains have a known fermentation capacity, and this can be checked before brewing by checking the fermentation capacity of yeast. The appropriate amount of sugar can be figured out and then added to the wash. By using the above calculation and ideas, you can then figure out just how much sugar is required for the greatest possible result without killing the yeast strain. This is also why experimental verification is needed, but the idea of these equations is to estimate yield and guide quantities, not necessarily give a definitive prediction on productivity rates. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully it has given you some useful information and applications for the idea of the mole discussed previously. Please post any comments, questions or suggestions you may have below.